Every tree draws its strength from its roots. For a tree to grow to its potential, it needs fertile soil, the right amount of water, and strong roots. The same is true for our family tree. The mossy oak tree is our logo, but is also a symbol of who we are. In this episode, we dive into the family tree of Chris Paradise as he takes his two youngsters, Michael and Ava, on an unforgettable Ohio youth turkey hunt. Welcome to Mossy Oaks Family Tree. So living in Ohio, it's a long winter, and uh, we do have one major hobby that we do all winter long, and that is baseball. <laughs> Well, baseball has been a sport I've loved for my whole life. Um, yes, there are ups and downs in it, but you can fix them easily. As much as I love baseball, turkey hunting is also a very big passion of mine. An ideal day for me is going up to the batting cage, having my dad throw me batting practice, and then we get to go home, get in some hunting clothes, and go scouting for turkeys and get ready for opening day. Good quick hand drive. One more line drive and we're done. We gotta go scout some turkeys. Good job. Alright man, hey. It's probably close to four. We said we put the baseball stuff away and grab the turkey gear and see if we can't find one in the field and get ready for tomorrow. Alright. Sound good? Yeah. It's at least a Jake. No, there's two long beards. A Jake, two long beards, and I think a hen behind the two long beards. You know, I can remember Mike's first hunt, turkey hunt. You know, he had gone with me uh, a few times duck hunting. He'd sat me with me a couple times deer hunting. But turkey hunting was his first real experience of doing something, you know, on his own. And he sat against the tree to my right. And all I can remember is looking over and everything he'd worked on, he was locked and loaded, down on the gun, ready to go. I called again, turkey gobbled, and he stepped out about 25 yards away. And all I remember hearing my son say, which is so vividly etched in my mind, is, Dad, I got him. It was one of those fairy tale endings in the turkey woods. That turkey strutted right up to 15 yards. He said, Dad, I can kill him. I said, go ahead, and he shot him. And uh, it was funny because after every turkey hunt since then, Mike has said something to me that I'll never forget. And he always says, Dad, this has been the best day of my life. And those are the words he, he uttered that first turkey hunt is when he hugged me. He said, oh my God, Dad, this has been the best day of my life. What's great about that is every deer hunt, every duck hunt, 
every turkey hunt, I get that hug and I get those words, Dad, it's been the best day of my life. Special. Hunting with my dad has always been a fun thing. He has taught me about nature, about hunting, and to get to hear and see about what he does, and he passes it down to me, that would be something I want to keep for my life and pass it down someday to my kids so that it continues. Because hunting is something I do with my best friend, Dad, and it's a very cool thing to do. I was made a hunter, and I'll always be a hunter. So you know, it's day two of the youth season here in Ohio, and uh, it's a beautiful, gorgeous morning. But it was probably one of the most memorable hunts for me ever now, because my baby girl, Ava, uh, was with me on this particular hunt. She'd been with me before on deer hunts and other things, but this one was special. But unfortunately, from you know all the different times we've gone, uh, she's you know not had any particular success or luck or shot anything up until this point. And so I needed this to happen. <laughs> I needed this morning to be good. So I thought I heard a gobble, uh, but it was faint. It was a long way off, and. Uh, I yelped and cut again, and uh, uh, I heard it for sure this time. And Jeff said, hey, here he is, I see him, he's just stepped out in the field. And he was working from our left to our right. We got a position. And from there, it's almost a blur, because I'm sitting behind my daughter, her long ponytail, I'm looking at my baby girl all grown up, and in the foreground, I can see this big old gobbler walking right at us. He's gonna lay right there, honey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Was that fun? Yes. Okay, he's, he's, he's laying right there. Ava, that was an absolute perfect shot. Look at That was a perfect shot. <laughs> I'm still in shock. It's been two, three hours, I don't know whatever time it is now, but I'm still in shock of what I saw, what she did, how she did it, what she's accomplished. And I just, I couldn't stop hugging, couldn't stop kissing her. And she said, Daddy, I did it. That's the first thing I've ever shot. And all those times, all the times she didn't get something, all the times that we didn't have any luck, man, this morning, it was, I just felt this weight off of Dad's shoulders. And uh, so proud. Hunting with my dad. It means a lot to me because I get to spend time with my dad and I also get to have fun because um, hunting is fun and really it's, it's a great experience for you and I think you would like it if you did go. Really, I actually do want to say thank you to my dad. Um, I will ever never, ever 
forget this moment because I think it was really special. And I love you, Daddy. At Mossy Oak, our family tree is the most important aspect of who we are. Taking the time to nurture and care for that tree makes the foundation for strong roots. As the old saying goes, you reap what you sow.